The pyramids of Egypt and the Great Wall of China have been built by humans for millennia. Recently, ambitious engineers have attempted large transit and communications projects that challenge human creativity. These 10 engineering wonders transformed the world. 1. Panama Canal The 1914 opening of the 51-mile Panama Canal changed global commerce routes. In 1904, the U.S. resumed building after the French failed in 1880. Chief Engineer John Stevens changed the project from a sea-level canal to one that required locks and damming the Chagres River to create the world's largest man-made lake. According to the Panama Canal Museum, workers displaced enough earth and rubble to bury Manhattan 12 feet as they cut the canal through jungles and mountains, fighting landslides and tropical maladies like malaria and yellow fever. Between 1904 and 1913, 10% of the 56,000 project workers died. The greatest feat, the International Ship Channel was finished on time and on budget. 2. Golden Gate Bridge The 1.7-mile Golden Gate Bridge spans the almost 400-foot deep strait between San Francisco Bay and the Pacific Ocean. To withstand the strait's severe winds, the bridge can shift almost two feet laterally. Only 11 workers minus 10 in one accident died on the dangerous project under Chief Engineer Joseph Strauss. The San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge, which opened six months earlier, killed 28 workers. An ingenious safety net under the bridge deck saved 19 workers. 3. Interstate Highway System President Dwight D. Eisenhower championed the Federal Aid Highway Act of 1956, which authorized the world's largest public works project. In event of a Cold War atomic assault, 41,000 miles of motorways with regulated ramp-based access and no at-grade junctions, simply overpasses and underpasses, were built to strengthen national defense and speed city evacuations. In 1990, the Eisenhower Interstate Highway System spurred suburbia and destroyed urban neighborhoods, transforming the American economy and lifestyle. 4. Transatlantic Cable In 1854, American merchant Cyrus Westfield secured a charter to lay a telegraph cable across the Atlantic Ocean's floor. After four failed attempts, American and British naval ships succeeded in laying the nearly 2,000-mile cable linking Ireland and Newfoundland in the summer of 1858. Queen Victoria's 98-word inaugural message to President James Buchanan took 16 hours to transmit, not quick, but speedier than packet steamships' 10-day transatlantic transits. The communications link, though, ceased working after only a few weeks. Field persisted, however, and contracted the British vessel Great Eastern, the largest ship afloat at the time, to lay a permanent telegraph cable in 1866 that vastly quickened transatlantic communication. 5. Hoover Dam Built by an army of more than 21,000 workers, the 60-story tall Hoover Dam was the world's largest concrete structure and highest dam at the time it was dedicated in 1935. The project, which required the Colorado River's diversion through four excavated tunnels, finished two years ahead of schedule. The Arch Gravity Dam on the Arizona-Nevada border controls the flow of the Colorado River, stores enough water to irrigate two million acres, and powers more than one million homes with hydroelectricity. The Hoover Dam propelled the development of cities such as Las Vegas and Phoenix and created Lake Mead, the largest reservoir in the United States in terms of water capacity. 6. Channel Tunnel Opened in 1994 after six years of construction, the Channel Tunnel connected Great Britain to the European continent for the first time since the Ice Age. Known as the Channel, it includes three concrete tubes that were constructed by 1,100-ton tunnel boring machines. The 31-mile tunnel system that carries passengers, freight and vehicles includes a 23-mile underwater stretch, the world's longest, with an average depth of 150 feet below the seabed. The tunnel has allowed passengers on high-speed Eurostar trains to travel from London to Paris in little more than two hours. 7. Transcontinental Railroad as the Civil War raged in the East, work began in the West to build a railroad that would link the United States from coast to coast. Authorized by the 1862 Pacific Railroad Act, the Central Pacific Railroad Company laid tracks eastward from Sacramento, California, while the Union Pacific Railroad Company moved west from Omaha, Nebraska. 
While all laborers toiled through harsh winters and scorching summer, the Central Pacific's largely immigrant Chinese workforce had the particularly arduous task of blasting tunnels through the Sierra Nevada mountains. When completed with the driving of a golden spike into the ground in 1869, the Transcontinental Railroad facilitated the country's westward expansion by cutting cross-country travel times from months to under a week. 8. Statue of Liberty a symbol of friendship between France and the United States, the 151-foot-tall Statue of Liberty was dedicated in 1886. In Paris, French sculptor Frédéric Auguste Bartholdi fashioned large copper sheets to create the statue's skin, which was packed in more than 200 crates and shipped to New York City. Over a four-month period, workers pieced together the statue mounted it on a pedestal and affixed it to an iron and steel skeleton engineered by Eugène Emmanuel Violet Leduc and Alexander Gustave Eiffel, designer of the Eiffel Tower that allowed the skin to move independently during strong wind gusts. 9. Netherlands North Sea Protection Works With parts of the country lying below sea level, the Netherlands constructed a system of floodgates storm surge barriers and dams to prevent flooding and claim vast swaths of land from the Zuiderzee, a shallow North Sea inlet named by the American Society of Civil Engineers as one of the seven wonders of the modern world. The project began in 1927 with the five-year construction of a 19-mile-long dike that enclosed the Zuiderzee. Decades of land reclamation projects followed. Between 1954 and 1997, Another massive project was undertaken to control water flows at the mouths of the Rhine and Neuse rivers. 10. New York and Boston Subways Civic officials wanted a speedier, cleaner alternative to horse-drawn carriages and elevated trains that polluted New York City and Boston. They tried underground rail travel, which many Americans considered unsafe and unworkable. Boston opened the first American underground in 1897. Seven years later, New York. Both cities used cut and cover construction to minimize interruption. The initial tube in London used steam locomotives, but American systems used electric trains. Rapid transportation changed Boston, New York, and American cities.